Hello, Zero K fans. Welcome to Nanali the Dawn. This is Shadow Fury 33, your host. And I'm gonna have some sillier matches because there have been a few requests that mostly from Stuart. No, Stuart98, who was. If you were watching the Planetary Annihilation stream, they were the ones who were giving me a lot of advice. So, not so much as thanks, just because, well, hey, why not have matches? I like to have matches that are a bit sillier, not necessarily high level play on weekdays, and it is a weekday. Also, one thing to point out, you'll notice it is Tuesday today, not Wednesday. Normally, of course, I do this Wednesdays, but my schedule in real life is changing somewhat. Like my when I'm free after work and all that. So I don't know exactly what it's going to be. Well, I know, I know enough of what it's going to be that I'm pretty sure I can do Tuesdays, but I know I can't do Wednesdays. So expect the stream schedule to change to Tuesday, Saturday, and then maybe also Friday. I'm not sure yet. Definitely Tuesdays and Saturdays, though. Though this week I'm busy with birthday stuff because I'm turning another year older than I currently am. It, it's been a year since the last time it's been a year since my birth was celebrated. So I'm, so I'm doing that this weekend. When that's done... I'll be less busy, but still, Wednesdays are out. So, without further ado, let's get to the match itself that is on Ravage between One Cut and Exploit. One Cut, I actually have not seen very much at all. One Cut is not a player who I've seen a whole lot of. They are kind of unknown to me. I've seen them a few times, but I couldn't. I can't pin their style if you ask me to. Exploit, on the other hand, I've seen and played a lot. They are, they are a player who has been practicing a lot recently. They've been playing a lot of games. I play them a bit as well, and the one thing that I noticed is they're not bad. They just have a tendency to surrender way too soon. There have been a few games where I played against them, and I don't know how I won because I was pretty sure I was at a disadvantage, and they surrendered. So we'll see what happens. That's the one thing I think Exploit... If there's anything that Exploit could work on, it would be tenacity. Tenacity is... I know I tend to complain from time to time that people are being too tenacious, that aren't giving up when it's reasonable to do so. But, honestly, between the two options, like, tenacity isn't necessarily... Like, if, you, if it's very clear you're going to lose, then it's a little rude to, stay, to hang on. But if you aren't sure, like, if you aren't 100% sure, like, your opponent is bearing down on your base is sure. You've just lost your commander in a factory is sort of sure, but not really. Like, there's, there's comeback potential there. Anyway, yeah, if... I would say err on the side, of, in general, for people, err on the side of being too tenacious. Yeah, I might get slightly annoyed. That's not a big deal. Don't put that much stock in how I comment on it, because honestly, win. Like, if that tenacity means you win, then you win. Anyway, Cloaky versus Spider. So, Spider on this map is very powerful, because they do have all the cliffs. Well, this is one of the best Master Spider. This and Zed, a new map that actually came out recently I was playing on. And I think I was actually playing against Exploit, and there were a lot of Cliff Exploits that I did, that I took advantage of. And they were playing Cloaky. But yeah, Cliffs are scary. I mean, the Fleas right now don't get a huge amount of vision. Basically, one cut can keep popping in and out to figure out what's going on, but it's not that powerful. Now, a Venom on the side here, that would be extremely powerful. Come in and out, or Redback coming in and out. Those do a lot of damage. It's hard to do, though, especially on Ravaged. The map just is so big that getting units from one side to the other, units that are that heavy, is quite the challenge. So, there's not a surprise it's not doing that. However, or they're not doing that. However, one cut is, however, harassing with the fleas. This flea should die after the mechs goes, though. Yeah. That's one thing you gotta bear in mind with fleas. A mech's explosion will kill them. And explode with a counterattack, but that's not quite enough. One cut already prepared for that with their Lotus, so the Glaive can't really do any meaningful damage. And there's still fleas around here, because that's the thing. This flea actually can't get in. There is a there's a Lotus. There's a Lotus here as well, but still, a bit of damage is dealt. I mean, the flea doesn't really donate much at all. It's four metal. Yeah. That's basically nothing. So fleas can die without giving too much away. A very handy property of fleas. They are, however, also very, very, very frail. Extremely frail. And in the Spider vs. Cloaky matchup, they can't be used as direct assault forces at all. 
I'm not sure if there are any matches where they can, but Cloaky is definitely not one of them because the Glaives are like warriors to fleas. Like, Glaives just wipe out all the fleas that come at them. So you see Venom Redback. You'll see Hermit sometimes. Actually, Hermit, I would say, is a bit better than Redback just because when Rockos come in, Hermits can tank them far better. Like, Redbacks cannot tank them, but Hermits can. And Venoms, of course, can. Like, Redbacks can work against... Can work against Rockos okay, but Hermits, I find, work better. However, against Glaives, Redbacks are awesome, and that's their best unit to use. That would be why One Cut is using them. Unfortunately, out of, as you can see, out of position, and this Redback... Ten seconds left. One cut. You got to assist that. You've got to assist that. You have enough resources to do so. Assist that bloody factory. Nope. That's not happening. That would have. That would have saved these two metal extractors. Possibly all three. Yeah, because as you can see, that lotus and one cut. Exploit knows this. Exploit knows the range of that lotus, so they can just take out metal extractors for free. Oh, not quite. Oh, nice attempt at line of sight blocking. There we go. Successfully did it. Lost the Glaive in the process, but still, like I said, those two Metal Extractors, those were free. Well, okay, that was a... That Glaive didn't really have any good positions to work from, but the first one was free. And that... That was a bit of a problem. Like, that's one of those clutch moments where it's really important to just go in and assist that factory. Or at least stop everything else, or lower priority and everything else. Especially given that one cut has 19, uh, 18 Metal and 19 Energy at the time. It was something, and they're still accessing. There was something they could do. x play right now is actually not accessing. They're doing quite nice with production. Setting that up quite well, and they have the Rockos up. So this is where I'd switch to Hermits. In fact, I probably have built Hermits to begin with. I, when I play Spiders, I tend to go Venom Hermit rather than Venom Redback, and typically use Redback as a switch off. Like, Redback is useful if you're dealing with a lot of Raiders. Or otherwise dealing with a lot of units that you can't, you don't have to worry about range. Raiders primarily. Against Rockos, they can ambush well. If they get into range of Rockos, they'll tear them to shreds. Far better than most riots, I find. But the Venoms just can't do much, and really, for your for your money, don't do it. Just get the Hermits. And this Glaive... Wow, that Glaive didn't die? What the heck? This Defender is just... Why is... Okay. Apparently some weird collision volume thing with the tree there. The Glaive and the Defender are at an impasse. That or they both decided that this war is pointless and put aside their differences. Can't same can't be said for that defender. Much to its detriment. And overall, Exploit is setting up a very strong composition, and one cut has not responded. They, okay, they partly responded. Getting the recluse, good plan. But they haven't gotten anything like hermits or what else do they get? I mean, hermits are useful. It's a little early for crabs. that will be a very risky switch right now. Hermits would be my choice. Like, Hermits supporting the Recluses. Hermits is a frontline force, especially with Glaives coming in. And then Redbacks just kind of all on the side, using Fleas to scout. That's actually one thing I'm noticing One Cut is not doing. They have a few Fleas here and there, but when you're playing Spiders, you need to have Fleas on all of the clips. Like, everywhere you can. Just Fleas all over the place. Because your opponent's probably not going to check all the clips. Oh yeah, that's another option, of course, is Mass Fleas to get rid of the Rockos. Also a good option, but yeah, putting fleas everywhere is a great way to just make sure your opponent's always on their toes. They can never safely build anywhere. I'd say if there's anything that makes the spider matchup work, like work for spiders, that makes most of the matchups not like 3-7 or 2-8, it's putting fleas on cliffs. Maybe I'm exaggerating slightly, but it definitely helps. It is it is a key part of spider play. And exploit... Well, they are losing a few mexes here and there, but honestly, not that many. Compared to what they're getting, their commander, however, very risky position. Not sure why they put a level 0 support commander up front. That's for battle commanders. Upgraded battle commanders. Support commanders can sort of work. But as you can see, it's very risky, and exploits getting closer and closer to their opponent's territory. I mean, if that commander dies, it'll... If that commander dies and then the units after it die, that is going to be about, I think, 2,000-ish metal reclaim available. Okay, beam laser calm. But yeah, that's still... That's a lot of metal that could potentially be lost very quickly. And Exploit doesn't seem to be too worried about that. They seem to think this is their territory, and... Well... 
that is soon to become a reality. Exploit actually seems to know this map fairly well. I mean, admittedly, there is the Elo thing, but yeah, especially for their Elo, they know this map quite well. Like, they expand pretty well in it, and they're they are not too shy about making sure to take territory. So I'm not surprised they're expanding as rapidly as they are. At this point, they have the definite advantage. One cut, however, not like I said, they're switching to they have the recluses, they don't have hermits, they don't have any hermits. At, oh, the hermits are coming in way later. Yeah, those should be put to the front of the queue. Hey, they are pretty desperately needed as soon as possible, just to tank those Rocco shots. I mean, the fleas worked okay, but as we can see, they did not solve all the problems. Fleas are not always the best option. They are a good option, though. That was a good call by one cut. I must say, that was... And they are still going for the fleas from time for parts of it. But yeah, the problem is one glaive will shut down the fleas. It'll just stuff it. Like you throw a bunch of fleas at there, they throw in one glaive, the Rockos are safe. That's how it works. You throw in a hermit, the Rockos are still done. So right now, yeah, these fleas, great position for those fleas. And the one glaive was out of position, got killed nicely. There we go. So yeah, the Rockos are now in rather dire straits. Fleas just taking all that out. So at this point, one cut is... Starting to get a bit of position, and this is where I'd say like, Glaives. A... Actually, Glaives a warrior would be a decent idea. Not the best idea. The best idea would be probably Scythes, honestly. Wouldn't be a bad idea, at least. Like, the Venoms are the main threat. The reason why I wouldn't say to use Glaives outright. Because they wouldn't completely stop these. Scythes would work fairly well to deal with these. And there's another unit. I can't remember offhand. Why can't I remember offhand? Not Hammers. Heavy overkill. Warriors would probably get torn to shreds. Well, I think warriors might be fast enough that it might not be a problem. Yeah, I I would say that sides would be the way to go here. Like glaives as well, obviously. Yeah, the Rockos. Actually, no, the Rockos deal with the Phantom. So yeah, glaive glaive and Rocco can work pretty well. But exploit. The more important thing is they've taken most of the map. That's really the important thing. I'm just rambling when it comes to unit compositions right now, because Exploit has such an economic advantage. 53 metal, only 12 of that reclaim. They've nearly doubled one cut's metal. Like, their static economy is double that of one cut. They are in a strong, strong position right now. One cut desperately throwing out their commander with the ba the, that Battlecom with the personal shield on it. I haven't really seen that much. Not a bad idea, but still, it's desperate. It really is desperate. And making sure that one cut can't go anywhere, Exploit is... Finally have to deal with some Hermits. And that changes a few things, but even then, even with the Hermits, it's not that big of a problem. As long as Exploit can keep their cool, as long as they can just make sure to get the units they need, I would actually recommend just grabbing an Air Factory and throwing in a few Phoenixes. Like, the Cloaky Butt Factory can sort of deal with this, but it's a bit of a grind. Phoenixes are just a faster option right now. Especially the Redback coming in and making the Glaze even harder to work with. One of the reasons I would suggest using sides, although admittedly you'd have the fleas to deal with. Yeah, there's not really a whole lot of good answers, are there? Now, that's where the warriors might come in, but then the redbacks and warriors kind of trade. So, yeah, this part of the matchup is a little bit wonky. But, like I said, a phoenix would just tear this to shreds. And ticks are being thrown in for good measure. Not a bad idea, though unfortunately this tick is probably going to be hit before it becomes a problem. No, actually it does get into the venom, that... Wow. Yep, there we go. With that Venom down, this entire area is very vulnerable. The Rockos have... Well, not so much the Rockos, but definitely Glaze. They're very little to worry about. The Redback's out of position. The Recluses are out of position. I mean, it's... This is still working very well in Exploit's favor. Exploit has so many more units here. Even with their losing units, they're still very much ahead. One Cut can't really attack anywhere. Their Lotus is in too many places on the map. And One Cut does not have the economy to deal with this. Slowly but surely being pushed back. And even with just a Rocco Glade, which I don't know if that's the optimal composition against this, it's still working out fairly well. One Cut's commander also they're too far ahead. Even for it being a battle com, they are about to go down, I think. Are they going to go down? It's... A few more hits. No, not quite. Miscalled that. Okay. My mistake. It's not quite going to go down yet, but it is close. 
A one cuts commander is in a dangerous position right now. And one cuts economy depends quite a lot on their commander. About a fifth of their economy right now is in their commander. They lose that, they're going to be losing what production they have as well. Like they're going to actually drop down a little below what they can produce while building economy. They're not going to be producing a full, full bore, but at the same time, nice harassment coming in on the side. So the center battle is distracting exploits on one and one cut taking advantage of this. Moving the Hermit ahead. This is where the fleas should go up. The flea needs to start attacking right now. That Hermit's tanking all the laser fire, and it will for the next 30 seconds or so. Exploit's probably not going to micro that Lotus. And it looks like the flea... Ah, just didn't get away with it. Never mind. Ah, mistake. Still one cast commander. There we go. Oh, no, it got the shields back. Never mind. Its shield saved it. But even then, the Rocco's pretty much counter that shield. It's a grind, like I said before, but it still counters eventually. And it looks like one cut is starting to make a comeback. They managed to grind their way through. Exploit without the optimal counter structure. I mean, really, like I said, just set up. Saiyans wouldn't be terrible, but Phoenixes would have been great in that situation. We just burnt out everything. Spider health is not very good. They would have dealt with it. But at this point, Exploit is starting to run low in forces. They just, they need to pool up. Like, at this point, they need to realize they are not ahead anymore. Pool up their forces. Like, don't... They're rallying in, are they? No, they're rallying towards... What? Oh, no, no, no. They're... Yeah, their fight move rallied towards the northwest. That is a major mistake. Thankfully... Thankfully, the recluses have been stopped for now, but still, that was a major mistake. The fact that they're not pooling their forces first... Like, 0k is a game where armies need to be together in order to be effective. Armies operating in this one at a time way, not that effective. And I know I mentioned Hermits before. Hermits in combination with things. Like Hermits to tank shots or recluses. Excuse me, or to tank shots for Venoms. Like use other units as the main assault force because they're not fast enough. But they are great at tanking things. And another tick coming in, but of no... Like that's not going to work. <laughs> the best thing it did was cause the recluses to hit the fellow redbacks rather than actually hitting anything else. The one benefit that tick had... Yeah, at this point, I'm pretty sure it looks like Exploit has... No, that rally point's still forward. They're just getting kind of lucky. They haven't lost a whole lot of forces, so their forces are still managing to get together, even if it's not in the best way. Because, like I said, you need to have your army relatively grouped up. Or at least, you have to have a group of a sufficient size to deal with this. Also, just point out, one god hasn't really been using the... I mean, they're using the cliffs a little bit here... But one thing I haven't seen them do at all is use the cliffs to get around to the behind section. Mostly because they haven't had much of an opportunity to do so. But that's what they really should do right now. Ignore this ramp. Make your own ramp. Go up the cliff. Like, send these hermits and everything up the cliff. Like, there are enough defenses that a counterattack shouldn't be that big of a deal. Especially if there's a Stardust over here. That should eliminate most of the possibility of a counterattack. But it looks like one cut is fighting very traditionally. They're staying up front. They're attacking, they're attacking the forces of Exploit as they come in. They aren't going along up the cliff and around the back. Which, if they did that, would break Exploit's morale completely. I mean, Exploit does not need just this factory. They could build another factory. They could build a few more factories, actually. Like, they could build... They could build an air factory. They, If they wanted to, could build light vehicles. Not the easiest thing to deal with for spiders. Although I wouldn't recommend it, because the terraform would just win. But yeah. At this point, yeah, Exploit... Throwing in the towel, losing their morale, that was... That was a relatively close match at first. Just basically came down to Exploit not changing up the composition. Like, they were just stuck on Rocco Glaive. Like, Scythe would have been a bit tricky to use, but... In that composition they were fighting, it would have worked really well. Because there weren't a lot of Venoms in there, but there were some Redbacks, but mostly it was Recluses. It would have torn apart the Recluses. The Redbacks would have still been a problem, but that's what the Rockos are for. Or if you had them Warriors, I suppose. But that's what Rockos are for. Zeus actually wouldn't have been a bad idea either. I forgot about Zeus. Zeus actually probably would have been a great idea. It would have tanked all the Venom shots. The Reckless wouldn't have been able to do much. The Redback could have run away, but that would have basically forced one cut to play around it. The Redbacks would have been pushed away. Which is the biggest thing. The Redbacks out of the way means the Glaives can rush in and do their thing. Which means the Zeus doesn't win in itself, but it allows the Glaives to do their thing. Or just get Phoenix. Go for Phoenix Assist. Because the Phoenix Assist would allow them to just burn out everything and then continue the assault with ground forces. 
yeah, sticking to that Rocco Glaive combination, that did not do Exploit any favors, I'm afraid. Anyway, that was that. Next game is going to be between Orphilius and Stuart98 on Inculta, the dry version of Inculta. That'll be up in just a moment, so stay tuned.